Hello everyone, my name is Fouda van Dichele and I will be presenting my poster comparing lifetime learning methods for morphologically evolving robots. And this work has been co-authored by Elise Oferante and Kusti Eibe. Let me now start with uh, walking you through the uh, paper itself. So the problem in evolutionary robotics uh, or a problem that arises in evolutionary robotics is the one of the body-brain mismatch in which the joint evolution of morphologies and controllers can lead to a bad behaving uh, offspring in the end. Uh, this is the case when the requirements for optimal behavior in, uh, for example, a rowing uh, robot compared to a stepping robot is uh, so different from each other that when we combine both bodies into a new offspring, this new body actually requires something totally different than the behavior seen in the parent. A solution that we propose for this uh, is the addition of an extra learning step in the life of a robot itself. And this additional learning loop can just mitigate the effect of this mismatch by fine tuning the controller in a new baby robot. Uh, a requirement for such a learning method is then, of course, that the learning should be very efficient because every additional evaluation adds on top of this evolutionary algorithm. And furthermore, the uh, learning itself does not, uh, is not biased or does not influence the fitness of the ro uh, robot morphology. So it's not uh, very sensitive or good for certain shapes or bodies. What we did in this paper is we tried to find uh, a good learning algorithm for this. And we did this for the task of gate learning. So we uh, put our robots uh, and we let it walk for 30 seconds. And then we said how, uh, what their fitness was based on the spe average speed. For this, we selected four different morphologies that would elicit a different behavior. Uh, meaning that it would not be uh, biased against certain uh, morphologies. And uh, at last, the two algorithms that we compared were Bayesian optimization and reversible differential evolution. So the choice for these two was mainly that uh, Bayesian optimization is a very well-known efficient learner, and uh, that would serve as a good benchmark for the more interesting uh, evolutionary algorithm that will tie in neatly for, uh, for example, future work in a nested evolutionary loop like the lifetime learning. Well, if you can, uh, as you can see in the results, we see that both the BO and the RefTE were capable of uh, performing very uh, rapidly, very good. And uh, this means that uh, learning seems to be very efficient and it could even be shortened into 200 evaluations to get a similar type of performance, and that this performance seems to be very uh, independent of the morphology on which it was uh, put on. So what this leads us to is uh, that we can conclude that Bayesian optimization and reversible differential evolution both show a great potential for the application of lifetime learning. And uh, as an efficient learner, it will be a very nice to see how well we can improve the evolutionary performance overall when it is nested into this evolutionary process. Okay, uh, that's it for me. And I hope to see you uh, during uh, the questions.